Welcome to the Q On Demand podcast, your source for expert tips from the authors of the Q On Demand series. For more information on the topics covered in this podcast series and for bonus online content, visit QOnDemand.com forward slash podcast, home of the visual, color, step-by-step reference guides for all your CS4 learning and more. Hi, I'm Steve Johnson, and welcome to another edition of Q On Demand's podcast. Today I'll be talking about the new Deco tool in Flash CS4. In the tools palette, you have a new tool called the Deco tool. And the Deco tool allows you to apply a fill pattern to an object. Um, and it does it in real time, and it's very cool. Um, once you select the Deco tool in the properties panel, you can select different effects. One is called the vine fill, another is called the grid fill, and the third one is called the symmetry brush. For the vine fill, you can select different options. You can select the default leaf item, and you can, de- you can also select a flower, which is what's there. But if you want to change that, if you have a symbol, you can go ahead and click the edit tool. And then if there's another symbol that you want to swap out for it, the leaf or the flower, you can go ahead and do that. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and use the default. So once you have the deco tool selected, you can go over to an object. You can also do this on the stage itself, but we're going to go ahead and do this to the object. And once you click inside the object, the fill, vine fill pattern starts to take place. So you can click in there and you can adjust that. Now what I'd like to do is, you now you can see it inside of an object, when you click the background, it will then fill in the entire thing. So it's kind of a, a very cool tool. Now in the uh, properties panel, you can uh, adjust other options such as like the branch angle, the pattern scale, uh, the segment length. So you have a little opportunity to be able to make some adjustments for what you want. But the deco tool is a very kind of cool tool that you can have some fun with and you can create different effects in which flash will kind of take over for you for more information and bonus online content visit qondemand.com forward slash podcast home of the visual color step-by-step reference guides for all your cs4 learning and lots more qondemand.com forward slash podcast